Okay, hi everybody. I will, uh, uh, since we locked it home, um, I thought that I would uh, do some of the, some videos of the exercises we do with teams as we coach them uh, from product discovery to maybe engineering practices. Um, when we think of, you know, product discovery, what it is, what we're going to do, uh, what we're building to whom and uh, uh, what to build first. We start usually with maybe customer interviews or we try to simulate customer interviews. Um, mostly sometimes we're working with teams and teams, uh, they know about their customer, they know about their personas, um, but we try to recharter, if you will, what, uh, what we're working on, making sure that we cemented understanding and also identify some user journeys. So we usually start by asking the customers, um, what is it you want from the system? and um, one of the, the techniques we do, or the tools, I would say, is what we call it, like a, some would call a use case analysis, uh, pretty much understand who are the actors uh, in the system. So imagine this is a system we're building, the actors who is, uh, who are, uh, actors are everybody uh, um, working with the system. Uh, we kind of identify them as a primary actor and a secondary actor, and the way I differ differentiate between those um, is that a primary actor will initiate actions into the system. A secondary actor will be called in by the system to do something. Um, an example of that, let's assume we're building an ATM uh, for, for, uh, just for that quick exercise. And hopefully this video will not be more than um, five minutes, uh, or at least this is my intent. Um, so the actors for an ATM, so this will be the system. There is some notation we use, um, a little bit of notation just to understand that, you know, making sure that we're calling, um, we're speaking the same language. So you walk in by the team area, you understand uh, what the diagram means. And uh, actors are human or not human, uh, can be uh, primary and secondary. So uh, the, uh, the way I differentiate it, if you're calling into the system, first let's call this, this is the ATM uh, system. Um, and the user will be, um, human, um, and also another human maybe would be the the admin or the cop that's coming, um, uh, more resetting the machine, um, taking the money, refill it, uh, all that. Maybe also you would have uh, um, some computer systems or back end that would call into the system as well. As you work with the ATM, you imagine it will call back-end uh, systems, or if you want to note it by a database or uh, maybe a server, um, that's mostly the banking system. Um, we start building this as we go. This is again actors. Maybe this is mostly secondary actor. Mostly they go in the side. Actions from the system will go to the secondary actor. Initiation comes this way. Um, primary actor will initiate into the system. Um, these are two different personas. Ideally, you would have different users for your uh, um, ATM, demographics, uh, education use case as well. Um, and you'd, you'd start identifying what we call a user activity and um, what would users use the system for. And you would see that if we're talking ATM, and this is a typical example, we start doing it with the team before we move into the real application. So just give them a flavor of what we're doing um, so they understand the tool that we will use as to discover their product. So we don't spend much time on an example. We usually dig into the real product, but we usually start with something like this to um, kind of give some idea where we're heading. Uh, so the language that you usually hear should be the customer talking about it. Uh, so a customer would say, I come to the ATM machine to check my balance. or withdraw cash. Or a deposit. And this would be this kind of customer. Maybe the admin will do deposit. Um, the customer will be do, do deposit as well. Uh, one thing we find as we start to define activities is that, especially that we're working with development teams, they would think of activities in more granular way. They would start saying, 
um, uh, you log in to the ATM machine, you swipe your card, you enter your PIN, uh, you do some authentication, and then you, so they give you more details, um, and this would be a good teaching uh, moment to differentiate what is an activity and what is an, a, a step uh, in the system. An activity, if you ask the customer, he will not ask you, I'm going to the machine to log in and do something. He's going to check balance, withdraw cash, deposit, maybe deposit check, maybe deposit uh, cash. So that's kind of um, very important as you start identifying this. And we, we would realize maybe you know more about why this is important because if this drives your story map and we'll do a little video around that later, how this will make sure that you're delivering something that's meaningful to the customer. Anything that I'm shipping out every increment or an iteration um, has to have something valuable for the customer. If I deliver something uh, after two weeks or four weeks working in the system that has a perfect login uh, with a swipe, with a, a mobile code, maybe with a biometric, all that, and all it does is just login, it's worthless. I cannot ship it to the customer. If I do a one way of login, uh, maybe the simplest way, a mobile code, you generate a code and you just enter it. Um, and maybe do one thing, withdraw a fixed amount of cash. This machine only give you 100. Maybe it will be at least usable initially. So the, the, the early differentiator between what is a user activity and what is a step is, is really key when you drive the development, make sure that you're delivering a variation of what the customer will appreciate or start using um, to this. You would imagine that check balance would kind of talk to the back end system and initiate that. Um, withdraw cash would be maybe doing the same. Um, that timely, maybe there is a, uh, the bank back end would call in overnight, uh, every night or on a scheduled basis to generate a report pull some information from the system. So uh, this will be maybe call it a um, daily report. And if this is a timer, something happens, we change that. Um, what is my, we change this to be more represent a timer like this. Um, um, if there is another system that call in in infrequent, you can be uh, do. I'm not sure if this will look like a robot. Maybe this will make it look like a robot. So that that's that's kind of a notation we use to do this. Uh, of course, this can grow. You can do one of these for for uh, yeah, every persona, and you start from there. Uh, so again, uh, one of the things that's okay what is an activity and what's not. And I kind of repeat onto this because this is a key um, aspect of driving a, a, a customer focus um, product is to always understand the, what is it, what in it, in the, is it for the customer? How are we gonna use it? Um, so that, and we'll see how this would kind of, can drive the story mapping. Uh, one test to find out if it's the step or an activity if you come into the system, are you going to ever log in and walk away? Um, you open your Outlook to check an email. Uh, you open it and go away. It, this will not happen. So it's not really the goal. It's not a user goal or an activity. Sometimes we use the, the term goal or an activity to make it clear that's not a step that the customer like. The customer is here to do something. Um, the customer will need to log in, swipe cards, all this, but the goal, which is the activity, uh, uh, is different. So we need to focus on that. And that's why sometimes using goal is, 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 uh, makes it easier than activity to, to kind of uh, uh, clarify the, what we are looking for. Another test we use that if I ask you what you're doing today, we call it the boss test. test. So if your boss asking you what have you been doing today? What you plan to do today? You give them a high level. I would maybe check my emails. I need to write some emails. Um, you wouldn't say I open or open my Excel or open my files. These are all things, but the goal is you actually send an email or write an email or document something. So that's kind of, this is the, the language we look for. So uh, whenever you do this exercise to understand what is the customer goals, um, 
make sure that you kind of use these tests. Is this something that I would go and, and walk away or not? So it's some an activity or a goal is something that, that it happens at once. Um, breaking it down does not provide anything meaningful for the customers. So that was a, a, an attempt. I will try to maybe uh, uh, put this on an article. Um, I started working on it already, but I thought video, a video uh, would be uh, helpful as well. Um, again, thank you for give, taking the time. Hopefully that was not too long and hopefully it was helpful. Please provide uh, any feedback. Um, I didn't want to do a, um, you know, a PowerPoint or anything like that. I thought, you know, a low fidelity, uh, this is how we do it, you know, uh, keep it natural. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy this and uh, thank you for your time.